la 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 oh cool there is sound on here okay so i'm in jersey right now it's like my furry jacket it's kind of cold so i get to wear it it's a trench coat but that's besides the point i feel like vlogging vlogging that today because um well a lot of shit's gone down and yeah quite exciting, I must say. Where should I start? Oh my god. I don't even know. Where should I start? Alright, I got here Friday. Mind you, it took a lot longer to get here because of the traffic. I mean, there was traffic at the ass and, oh, we had to get a hotel room two nights in a row. We left Wednesday. And, yeah, didn't get here till Friday afternoon. And, oh well, I arrived at my grandparents' house and moved my shit upstairs, boxes, all that fun stuff. So, happy about that. And I'll be moving up next month to get a job. And, yeah, pretty much moved up. Oh, oops. Fran, you're leaving. Bye. Okay. Sorry. I did click on another window. Um, yeah, I went to my aunt's house yesterday and we went to a parade and it was cool. It was fun. My aunt is ridiculous. Oh my god. The things she says are so funny. My mom and I were crying of laughter. Um, let's see. After the parade, went back to the house, ate some nuts, and let's see. Then we went shopping. Oh, I bought a new pair of heels. Wanna see? Wanna see? Aren't they cute? Ah! They're dollhouse. <laughs> um, got them in Marshalls. And oh, I went to pay the tax on these, right? Like they were only $25, and I'm like, oh, I'll give them 30. And then I was like, wait, no, no. I'll take five of that back, because you don't have to pay tax. We're in Jersey. It's great. It's a miracle. Um, <laughs> let's see. I bought two dresses. The one dress has anchors all over it, of course, because I'm out of the sailboat. And let's see. From there, we went to a roller derby. Oh my god, it was so cool to go to a roller derby. And, um, yeah. It wasn't as brutal as they show in the movies or on TV. Like seeing it in person, I mean, I could totally be on a roller derby week. And I've actually been talking about it, as you know. I don't know. Those of you on Facebook who have seen me make posts, I'm totally going to do it. Whether I do ballet or not, you know what? Hell, I'll be graceful. You know, it'll look cool, you know? Whoa. You didn't see that. But, yeah. I'll look, uh... Pretty damn graceful on those roller skates. Whee! I'm pushing you out of the way. Um, but yeah, I came up with a name. Assassin Titties would be my nickname. Um, a lot of the people on the team had some pretty clever names. Like one of them was Assault Shaker, like to assault someone and then Shaker. Assault Shaker. And then another one was Curry Plowder. And then another one was, um... Felter Snatch. Felter Snatch. And yeah, there was this flat chested girl on the team, and instead of Pixie Dust, it was Pixie Bust. And there were some clever names, but um, yeah, I totally think I could do it. I just hope it doesn't interfere with ballet and my other schedule, because when I come here, I'm gonna get a job. Fun. I mean, I need income really bad. So, coming up here to work, and then I'm holding off on cosmetology until August because I just found out that, well, oh my godmother's sister runs this Japanese exchange program I've been doing since I've been eight, since I was eight years old. And, well, I've been teaching myself Japanese, and I might 
finally be going there to teach English for a month in July. Ah! Only thing is, see, she couldn't have picked a busier time for me to do this, but you know what? I get paid, so hell, I'm willing to leave the job to do something I love. So, yeah, Japan will be amazing. That is if I go. I hope it actually happens. Um, <clears throat> yep. Only thing is, another thing, um, yeah, this when, uh, supposedly Marcos goes to the U.S. to visit, so that would, you know, that kind of suck to not be able to see him, but I'm sure there's other times, right? I hope. <laughs> yeah, it better be. Um, yeah, and then, oh, oh, she's getting a full-time job over the summer, so she won't be able to actually do the exchange program, so she wants me, I'm going to get paid to look after the girls and go to the city with them and, you know, go to the camp with them like they do, and I've never done, I've never actually gone to the camp with them, I've gone to the city with them because, you know, well, alright, I'll explain the process of this. What they do is... A group of junior high school students come from a small town of Fukushima called Onomachi, and they come here to Jersey, to Glenrock, and they stay for a week at a host family's house. And we do fun things, you know, we go to the city, we go to art museums and Broadway shows, and they tour the town and all that fun stuff. Oh, and we go to, we go down the shore, and then they depart on a bus to a camp up in New York, and they say goodbye to their families. Yeah. Well, I've never gone to the camp with them. I mean, maybe I could have, I don't know, but I just never went, I never asked, I never, you know. Because usually I was flying back to Florida after they leave anyway, so... But I used to have so much fun. Um, last year the group didn't come because of swine flu, which sucked. Cause, ugh. But, um, yep. So now that I hopefully get to do this this year, let's keep our fingers crossed. Uh, I need to study for this JLPT exam. Ooh, is it a beast? 150 hours of study. 150! I have to study about 110 kanji symbols, those big box symbols with the teeny little lines in them. Looks kind of like, oh, nope, there isn't a pen, I can't do it. Oh, there's a pencil up there, whatever, I'm too lazy to draw one out for you, you know what they look like. Um, yep. And there are 800 vocabulary words. Plus you have the grammar. Luckily I know a lot of the vocabulary, so vocab I'm okay with. It's just hard to remember, especially with all the stress I've had. It's really hard to keep up with the language right now. But I'm gonna do it. I have to. Um, I have to just keep being optimistic and drink that tea and hope things will be a little uh, less stressful. Cause, oh my god, it's been such a hot mess. But, gotta live with it, cause there's people worse than me. I mean, I think I'm living pretty glamorous, no matter how stressful this is. I mean, look at my jacket. You know? I mean, at least I'm not... I don't know. I'm not living like Maria too did in Sierra Leone. By the way, you have to read that book. The Bite of the Mango. Best book ever. I'm just telling you to read it. I'm not even suggesting it. I'm telling you to read it so you know what I'm talking about. But, oh, I look up to her so much. I mean, she had her arms cut off when she was 12 and got pregnant because she was, like, raped. And, oh, the rebels were just awful to her. But, yeah. I don't know. After reading all these African <laughs> memoirs, I realize how amazing I have it, no matter how bad things get for me, no matter how sick I get. So, well, this is going on 10 minutes. Anyway, wrapping things up, this summer is going to be really 